Hello and welcome to my art journal. I'm back to my real art journal book after having a bit of a, well, different kind of a project last week. But I am staying with the theme of spring. I really like uh, the springy weather that we do have in the region that I live in currently. And uh, one of my favorite spring colors uh, is, well, a very lovely yellow and the other one is a purple. So I thought, ah, oh, how could I um, combine the two colors? Well, tulips. Spring means flowers for me as well and I really like tulips in spring. And I thought, well, let's just paint a huge field of tulips. Some are in focus, the ones that I sketched out with my pencil, and some are not going to be. So I'm starting with the ones that are not going to be in focus, and I spritz the whole page with a bit of water, and then I'm just dropping in colors. All the kinds of colors that I could think of that would say tulips. Uh, I've got a yellow, a warm red, a cold red, which is almost a pink, and then purple. And in between, I do have two tones of cold green. One is more of a phthalo green, and one is almost like a phthalo green mixed with a gray. It's very earthy, though it's a cold color. And uh, once I had that in, I spritzed my page once more and then dropped in blue for the sky. And I chose a warm blue just to, well, have the warm colors pretty much in the midsection, cold colors on the bottom and having a warm color on top. Just to, well, have balance in my painting there. Um, once I had everything dried off, it took a while because I had a lot of water on it on the page. Uh, I went for the tulips that are focal points and I dropped in two colors for each um, tulip there. So a warm and a cold red, the purple and the cold red. And I'm just letting them run. I'm not directing the color too much at that point. And I will work on that later on with a bit of blotting and then going in with even a smaller brush and defining the petals and stuff like that. But for now, I'm just gonna let the color do its thing. You can see at the yellow orangey um, tulip that it's having <laughs> quite the swirls of color there. And I'm just gonna leave it at that and decide later on if I'm gonna blot it away or not. So uh, I'm, yeah, just loosely coloring today. And uh, then I hit it, hit the page again with my uh, hair dryer, blotted away some color. And then um, if I blotted away too much color, I'm just moving around the color that is around that section just to fill it in. I had that on the lower right hand side at the red. Uh, tulip. I colored the yellow orange tulip a bit more yellow defined and intensified some of the colors. I really want those couple of tulips to stand out. Um, the background is pretty colorful and in real life uh, this uh, background is pretty bright so I really need some BAM in your face intense colors for the tulips that are in the foreground so that they stand out in the end. Then I went uh, with a smaller brush and some Van Dyke brown, which is a cool brown, and just shaded uh, all of the flowers, the stems, as well as the petals. It's not really a lot to do there. I thought for a second, uh, maybe I should use indigo for the purple flowers uh, instead of brown, but I just went with one color to shade and define the petals and for that I chose the sepia brown. I think it particularly well works with the yellow tulip down there. I really like that color combination and I also like the red one at the left hand side and that I'm just currently painting. I like the way the sepia brown shading worked there. So 
So once that was done, I blotted a bit of the color on the left purple tulip, but not a lot. And then I just intensified the lower section with uh, the two greens that I used before. By the way, for the stems, I used a warm green, but for the background, I did, did choose the same cool greens that I used before just to push it into the background and have the stems of the focal uh, tulips stand out. Again, once that was done, I dried off the page completely and uh, then I took a white gel pen and went over the um, lines for the focal point tulips just to have kind of a sketchy look. The thing that I usually do with black marker, but this time I went in with a white marker and I will add some lines that could be grass uh, after that as well. Then I just added the date and call it, called it a day. So this is my page for the week. I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Lots of close-up photos and a reminder of what material I used is on my blog available for you. So check it out if you're curious. And uh, thanks for watching. Do all the good YouTube stuff. I will see you tomorrow on a tiny Tuesday and next Monday on a new art journal page. Have a lovely day and go create. Bye.